What's going on guys, Austin awesome Joe here, and today we're unboxing the Halo Crate for this month, or who knows when exactly, because I think this one was delayed or something, not exactly sure, so, um, as usual, I don't know a whole lot about the Halo stuff, like all the details and everything, so it's going to kind of struggle with some of these things, but let's go ahead and get into it, so on the top we already have our secret stuff that we always look at later on, so we'll come back to that, but to start out, we'll start off with our shirt for this month, and so here is our shirt. I have absolutely no clue what that is at all. Oh boy. And I I've don't... I've seen it, I just cannot think of what it is. Yeah, I don't... Of course they doubt they have anything. So we'll have to look at the paper to see what that is. I, obviously it's a logo of some sort. It probably goes to something, probably one of the bad guy groups. Because I do see um, in the top of the box here, there's like a brute guy. So it's probably maybe a brutish logo. Who knows, but yeah, we'll have to come back and look at that. It looks almost like an eye or something, but not sure, so I'll have to come back. Uh, next up, we've got a pair of socks here that look kind of cool. So they're odd socks, so we get a bunch of odd socks and like Loot Crate and stuff like this now. Um, but they are Halo, and I can't tell exactly what they are. They look kind of like robot feet or something. It kind of looks like one of the Guardians from Halo 5. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. They don't say anything, because sometimes I know on these, the, with the Odd Socks, they'll say what they are. But it just says Halo Odd Socks and Loot Crate exclusive. But I don't know exactly what they're supposed to be. I assume they're supposed to, because usually when they do the, the designs like this, they're supposed to be feet. So I assume Oh, maybe, wait. I think like, they're one of the Arbiters. That's why I was going to say like an Arbiter feet or, or something. Sorry, Elite. One yeah, of the Elite. like one of their feet or something. And on the back, there's not much of anything. There's two little like prong things there. But yeah, I assume it's maybe like a two-toed creature or that's just like a robot foot or something. Who knows exactly. Like I said, I haven't played Halo in so long I can't remember anything about it. But they're real, they feel kind of thick. But they're like really soft at the same time. Like it's, like it's confusing. They're thick and soft. So it's just kind of weird. Next up we have a mug. So just what we need another coffee mug from something. But let's see what it is. It's I love something. But let's see what we love. What do we love? It is. I, oh, I assume I love tanks. Because there's the one of the. Or the scorpions. Yep. Something like that. Tanks. So yeah we have a tank on there. So it's I love tank. And that's all it says. Made in China. And nothing else on it at all to go, nothing Halo or anything like that. But yeah, it just says, I love tanks. If you love tanks, you need this coffee mug. The next up we have, what should we look at? Probably our figure. So we have our figure, our Halo Legendary Crate. I forget, Halo icons, I couldn't remember what it was. And we have Sergeant Johnson of, there it says in 343 Guilty Spark. So it's the Colonel guy, I guess, uh, Sergeant, not Colonel. And so he's got what looks like a cigar there and everything that he always has. And it looks like he's kind of just standing in a weird form. So let's go ahead and open this. So we got it all put together now. And so here is it. So like, or is there's Sergeant Johnson there. And again, he is leaning on the guilty spark. It looks kind of like a floating little orb thing there. I don't ever remember seeing that, but there's that. And then again, he's holding his cigar and he's leaning over on it, pointing at something also with the cigar in his hand. And I kind of like how he's standing, how you know it is like he's actually leaning, but it's just on a floating ball, which obviously in the game floats and everything. Um, but I like the way they pose him, you know, with his feet crossed and everything. And then I like on the ground here too, how they put a, like an ammunition case thing and then uh, one of the battle rifles, I assume, is what that's supposed to be. I don't know for sure. Um, but they have that just laying on the ground there too. I really like the detail because usually it's just the plain base and nothing else. So I like that they actually threw some more stuff on there. So that's really cool. Again, to go with the whole collection of all these figures. And pretty much this is the only reason why you get this thing. Just to get these different figures. So that is kind of cool. So then we got our poster. But before we go to the out, go ahead and check out our secret stuff. That again, I never know anything at all what this has to do with anything. But we'll just go ahead and look at it just to see what we get. So we of course have a bunch of uh, papers with like information and like um, classified stuff or whatever that you can read through, but I don't know about that. Then we get our picture that again, we get a, one of these pictures and I don't know what it is. It looks like, it's like a picture from the game. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's just got a whole bunch of information. So up here at the top, it's just got a bunch of information on people. And then we have the picture there. Like I said, that looks just like a screenshot taken from the game or something. Going on there again, I have no clue what's ever going on with these pictures. But I assume the information stuff has to do with it, but I never read that, so I don't know. So let's go ahead and look at our poster and see what we got this month. And then, of course, it has our items on the back as well. So here is our picture. And so there we have, it looks like Sergeant Johnson again, standing in front of what I assume is the Guilty, Guilty Spark. Spark ball thing 
there in the background and I think we forgot some either missed it or didn't get it I see some else on the back here and so yeah that's kind of a cool poster there and then we have all our, all our items let's see if I missed it no apparently we just didn't get it. our pin for the month I don't see it in here anywhere but I see it on the poster so that's why I was wondering but I don't see it so so our poster was supposed to be a brute shop pin so you could have got a gold version or just the silver it's kind of hard to see but there's we we're supposed to get one of those that we I can't find anywhere in the box unless it's just somewhere in all this stuff but I don't see it so we didn't get that unfortunately um, then next up we have it's the mark of shame t-shirt says this t-shirt suits you but it cannot hide the mark nothing ever will when Thail Vedem was branded with the mark of shame it started him down a path to become the arbiter so I guess it is a thing of Arbiter and stuff like that. So that's uh, kind of cool, I guess. I mean, it's a very basic and plain shirt. So you have to be, I assume if you wear this, someone that would be very knowledgeable of Halo would maybe get it. But anyway, else, it's just a logo on a shirt because there's not much more to it than that. Um, then, of course, we have a, it is an I Heart Tanks mug. So that's what the tank is there. That's what its label is. Of course, that's kind of cool. I guess a funny picture. Then we have our socks, and they are Arbiter socks, so that's what it's supposed to be, I guess, Arbiter's feet is what that's supposed to be as that look there. So we did get that right. And then we have our, of course, Halo icon Sergeant Johnson with the Guilty Spark that I think is really cool. The figure there, and of course we have the poster to go along with it. And then, of course, we have our data drop files, as they call it. And it says, so your investigation continues well, Detective. We're giving you access to top secret interview with Sergeant Johnson along with info about something redacted as requested and doesn't provide any, for any information on what the picture is supposed to be. So again, that's kind of stupid, I guess. But And then, of course, we have our rec pack and everything. So it looks like that is it. And so the theme for this month um, is Let's Get Tactical. So that's what the theme was. They always have really weird names like that for this, but um, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. So that's, they call it a loadout, not a theme. But then we have a Mythic Crate winner, and it's a Project Triforce. Halo Plasma Replica. So Ooh. I guess that's what's supposed to be a $600 value. But of course, we obviously didn't get that. Um, so that looks like that is all the items. So, Burr, what is your favorite item out of the box? I'm going to have to say probably the Sergeant Johnson. As usual, yeah. But if we would have got our pin, that brute yeah. shot would have been really awesome. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't get our pin. I always assume there was just an issue or something. That may have been why the crate was delayed, so they may just come. Because I think it was this crate that they had issues or something, and so it was delayed, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, this these Halo icon figures are definitely the best thing out of these boxes. So that's going to be it for this Halo crate unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below what your thought of the box was. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings, and we'll see you next time.